Hey, hey, everybody, I'm about to swagger Jack Steve Harvey. We got a good one for you today. It's King David versus The Vessel. Y'all y'all understand it when you listen to the rest of the interview, but uh, <laughs> we are doing another special episode to um, interview a special artist that you guys know and love, and if you haven't, then you're about to, because in case you haven't noticed, most mainstream music pretty much sounds the same. It's the underground artists who have the opportunity to use more creativity and more... Um, pizzazz in their music instead you know companies are more worried about making sales we're more worried about the ministry and before we bring them on the line we're going to give you a little taste of what he has to come and i will warn you guys that uh he's very unique i'm gonna just put it like that i have not heard anything like this before in the gospel world and that's what we gonna call it the gospel world so you guys check this out and we will be right back with king david the vessel <laughs> Feel like you're out here on your own, oh. and that you can still do better by your own. Oh. I have a reputation care of my own. my own. I haven't left, so I am not gone. But I need you to look up and not around. Right. And leave me alone with your answers be fine. Got the whole world looking at themselves and wondering why they can't get no help. Well, that is not the plan I have for you. Walk hand in hand with me, I know what to do. Any time it looks like it can't be done. If you've got faith, I've got faith. Can't you be out Let me go. Your present and your future are in me. You learn what you will, not what you used to be. Come on. Ears are not heard, eyes have not been shown. What lies ahead, but you can't do this alone. Don't have to try. Why not? Just try your way It looks like it never came and it's my fault. It's my fault. You say you know my name but never call me. Till the moment you're about to fall. Oh. You don't want my but you want my all. Guess what? I don't have a funny love. I don't love you on Sunday love. You can do what we don't with love. I'm still the guy who called you by my name. My name. And why'd you take your time before you came? Oh, now that your healer is no need to fear. No, All power's in my hands, let that be clear. Oh, yeah. If I don't do it, it will not be done. But trust in me before in anyone else. Well, I see kings up and I make kingdoms fall. So what's great for you is not too hard at all. No. Once you give yourself only to me, you've been on my mind since you ain't a team. Oh, yeah. Did I tell you or did I tell you? I think I told you, man. It's like the gospel version of R. Kelly, only better. <laughs> but that was King David the Vessel. We thought about you. I, I'm not going to mess up his song because I can't sing too well, but I could try. But now let's get down to the real scoop. Let's bring King David on the line and see who King David really is beneath the mask. How you doing, King David? <laughs> hey, man, I'm fantastic. How you feel, bro? Ah, so far, so good. Can't complain when you got the Lord. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. So before we get into your background, um, how did you get the inspiration from Thought About You? I'm curious. I mean, outside of the obvious. Yeah, um, pretty much it is the obvious. It wasn't like I was thinking about something in particular. Um, I heard the track, and a lot of times when uh, I know it's a song that I'll use because when I hear the track, I can hear the song. 
Um, and I think that might have been uh, one of those situations um, where I just heard the song and, and, you know, the Lord just kind of laid it all out for me. So uh, I wasn't looking for or trying to do anything in particular um, other than just simply really trying to share, um, you know, God's heart mm-hmm. in that instance, uh, you know, with his people. So Definitely. I tried uh, something similar like that before. It just never worked out for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got you got like a double talent. You're you're a fantastic singer and a great rapper. So I mean, you can mix both of them and just do general everything when it comes to music genres. Well, praise God for that. I appreciate you saying that. Man. Nah, no, not a problem at all, man. You got to give credit where credit is due. Now, um, who is King David the Vessel? How did you get your name, and where do you come from? Um. Well. I, you know what? Honestly, I didn't even really have the full revelation behind the name when when the Lord first gave it to me. Um, after I rededicated my life to the Lord, um, you know, I used to do music secularly, and um, once I came back to Christ and got a real, uh, you know, relationship with Him, I wasn't looking to do anything from a music standpoint. Um, but with that being said, uh, the Lord was still giving me songs, and I was still right. And um, so that 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 process started um, back in about uh, 2002, and so, um, you know, during that time, you know, I would always tag my, my songs, you know, written by, you know, God the Father, you know, Christ the Son and the Holy Spirit, and then co-written by uh, KD02, you know, and, you know, just kind of like King David in the year 02, and then once I finally really got into just got back into it um, and kind of really answered the call in regards to it. Um, the Lord gave me, you know, King David, the vessel. Um, and then later on, um, I kind of found out what exactly um, was behind it. One, you know, not not only referencing the King David was in the Bible, but referencing um, the royalty um, that we are in Christ um, and, and, you know, being heirs and joint heirs, um, you know, with him and in him. Um, but then also, too, acknowledging the fact that um, the greater the, the office that we have, um, the more of a servant we are to be. Um, and so that's kind of where the vessel comes in, um, simply being used by God to do um, what it is that you desire. So to have King David the vessel, you know, um, a royal servant, which, you know, um, is something that, uh, you know, something that we all should be. Okay. So what exactly right now is your main focus? What's your main mission, your main vision? Um, probably more than anything else again, just to really um, convey God's heart and God's mind in whatever vehicle he um, presents and makes accessible uh, for me to do that in. Um, so whether it's music, um, then we do music. Um, I also do some writing, uh, things of that nature. You know, So whatever vehicle of ministry. Um, the Lord affords me to be able to use, uh, then that's what I want. Um, but again, just really wanting to uh, convey God's heart and God's mind to individuals um, so that we can not only have some understanding uh, about our own situations and circumstances, but also so that we can primarily prioritize God um, and his perspective and his vantage point uh, and his voice first and foremost. Um, you know, and how we look at life and then go from there. So uh, that's that's kind of where I am. <clears throat> Fantastic. Now, I do have a question for you. I know I asked you this before, but I'm pretty sure after hearing this much of the interview, everyone's going to be wondering, how can you sing the way you sing with that deep a voice? <laughs> that's a mad skill right there. <laughs> that's, that's a very good question. Um, again, a lot of hard work, man, the the singing for me, um, even though it was something that I did at an early age, um, you know, coming back into it, you know, I wasted a lot of years, you know, smoking and drinking and just really doing a lot of damage to my voice, man. So it's not, um, it's not something that's come as a result of no work. There's a lot of hard work um, that's gone into uh, into me being able to sing, and I'm still not anywhere, you know, close to. I'm, I'm getting there, but I'm not where. Uh, where I would like to be aware, you know, I may eventually end up, but uh, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of prayer, man, a lot of a lot of fashion, a lot of hard work. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, who was it? Somebody posted uh, 
video clip of an interview with Will Smith, and he says he just has a sickening work work ethic. You know, when other people are sleeping, he's working. When other people are eating and hanging out, he's working. And I'm like, man, I tried that, but I uh, fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. So what type of projects do you have out so far? Um, well, uh, I released my first uh, rap CD, uh, you know, uh, in, in the gospel arena um, back in 2007. It was entitled In So Many Words. Um, took a break from studio recording for a while, came back in 2013, um, and dropped, uh, two free mixtapes, um, one in February and then another one in September. Uh, the first mixtape was Love Letters to the Lost, um, and then the, uh, September mixtape was Love Letters to the Lost and Found. Um, so again, those were two, uh, two projects that are available for free and they're, they're still available uh, for free and then uh, in March of last year actually um, we released um, the album uh, to which Thought About You belongs to uh, A Hero for the Hurting um, and that project is available uh, for uh, for sale via my website so that's somewhat of our discography we've done you know a lot of music with a lot of different artists and there's uh, you know there's uh, there's the music that we're, uh, we're currently working on right now so. Okay. And when you're um you said the first albums were free, where can people find that? Uh you can visit my website, um yieldedmusic dot com. Yieldedmusic dot com. Um you can find uh free music there, you'll find the mixtapes there. Um or you can actually search for me on like noise trade dot com. Um uh and look for uh yielded music, uh look for King David the Vessel and you'll find uh, you'll find that, that stuff there. Okay, fantastic. And that's where your uh, latest album is, to where people can buy it. Right. Now, right. The album that's for sale is on my website, again, yieldedmusic.com. Um, you can go, uh, you know, download A Hero for the Hurting. Uh, it's a straight up 10 bucks. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a very dope project. Um, one that I'm very pleased with in terms of how it turned out. Um, I praise God for that. So, yeah, yieldedmusic.com. You can go um, and find A Hero for the Hurting. Um, that's available for purchase. Now, if I remember correctly, you are the CEO of Yielded Music, right? Yeah, I'm kind of the founder and visionary and only artist on it. So, <laughs> well, give us a little <laughs> backstory on that, man. How did that? How did the company come to be? You know what? In all honesty. Um, it was just kind of something that 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 came like it 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 wasn't like a uh, an epiphany. It was like uh, I'm I'm going to create you know a music company. It it, it, just, it never happened like that. It was just something that kind of grew and it was a it, it was a thought and it was you know something that was embedded and it was just something that was kind of pulled on and kind of pressed forward. And so now you know everything that I do that's you know that's inclusive uh, you know of, of, of what we do. So this, you know, that's just kind of how that happened. Okay, I know a lot of. <clears throat> excuse me, I know a lot of people. Um, they they find it very difficult to come up with a good name and a good theme for a company, and so they go through like a million different names before they get started. That that's actually what I did as well. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, the Lord, uh, the Lord gives it to you, man. It's always perfect. Oh, uh, absolutely, absolutely. So we just played your song. Um, thought about you. And we have another single that we're going to play in a few minutes here. But beforehand, I want to ask you something. Sure. What do you have going on for the next three to five years, ministry-wise? Uh, actually, you know, looking to expand, like I mentioned a little while ago, um, there is new music um, that's in the works. Um, some things that we'll be uh, releasing this year. Um, I'm also uh, a published author, so... Um, uh, writing right now, um, working on uh, devotional and um, a couple of other projects. There's a magazine that I write for, uh, an online magazine that I write for that's released um, quarterly. Um, so I do that, and then uh, just a lot of hands-on uh, ministry type stuff. Um, would certainly like to be uh, full-time in ministry uh, within that time frame. Uh, it does not have to necessarily be music. <clears throat> Uh, but I wouldn't exclude it uh, either. So really, that's kind of where my focus is, is kind of going and, and pushing um, this message that the Lord has given me um, through whichever vehicle and platform 
one he provides. But um, certainly a lot of work uh, ahead, and um, you know, definitely looking forward to it. Okay. Now I have, I have to back up. You said you were writing a devotional as well. That's correct. That's correct. I'm in the process of doing that uh, as we speak. So you're actually going to have it published and in stores and whatnot? Uh, I'm sure we'll do online, at least initially. Um, and, uh, you know, may very well uh, self-publish this particular um, book. Um, and we may uh, actually do some physical copies, just kind of see where the Lord leads us in regards to it. But uh, it will not be... Um, I can say this much about it. It won't be the normal devotional that you're used to, uh, that you're used to dealing with on a day-to-day basis. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> I mean, one of the reasons that a lot of Christian music doesn't really get uh, recognition is because it sounds like every other Christian song. When you're able to switch it up, right. then you can change it. And when it comes to writing styles as well, I mean, every devotional is the same exact thing. But if you can ch- if you can find a way to change it, and the Lord's leading you to do a different way, then you're definitely going to be the sore thumb that stuck out in a good way. Well, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's actually going to uh, it's going to hit home, um, you know, for a lot of people in a lot of a lot of areas. Um, so that much I will say about it, but it, it definitely will be something different. Okay, definitely, man. Because I actually want a copy, so you have to let me know when it's published. Because I really, I really want to check this out. Absolutely. I mean, I like your rap. I love your singing. I, I didn't know you were writing, too, so now... I mean, if you, if this comes out pretty well, you're like a quadruple threat, man. You never <laughs> won't know what to do. <laughs> no, man, I appreciate that, man. But no, absolutely, I will definitely, uh, definitely keep you posted. Definitely. Well, let's take a short break real quick, and let's get into your next song. Do you want to tell us a little bit about Trying to Love You? Sure. Um... You know, throughout A Hero for the Heart, and we see songs from different perspectives. We see songs from um, individuals who are um, struggling to come to grips with things that are going on around them. We see songs from myself just kind of as a third-party uh, observer. Um, and then we see songs from the Lord's perspective as well. So Thought About You is one of those records. And Trying to Love You is one of those songs also. Um, and it's just... You know, Jesus really trying to convey um, his desire for us um, and how we make it difficult and, 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 and harder than it has to be um, because of different things that are going on with us. We withhold ourselves from him. Um, we feel as though we can give God this area or that area, but we won't give him everything. Um, and it makes it difficult for us to experience everything that God wants to do with us when we're only giving him bits and pieces of us. Um, so this song is just really making God's intentions, really making Jesus' intentions plain and clear. Um, and it's just simply letting individuals know that, you know, all I'm trying to do, I'm just I'm trying to love you. Um, it, it may be uncomfortable. You may not understand it. It may challenge you. It may correct you. It may chase you. But at the end of the day, my desire for you is the same. I'm, I'm just I'm trying to love you, and I want to show you everything. That real love is inclusive of that agape love, that love that doesn't fail, that love that covers a multitude of sinners, that love that does challenge you, that seeks not our own. I, I want to show you what that love is about. So that's that's kind of what that record details. Oh, man. I was going to tell everyone they need to definitely check this one out, but I think I need to check this one out. Just from the description, man, it's already <laughs> speaking to me. <laughs> man. man. You know, everybody sit down. Y'all about to be into a powerhouse gospel mashup better than WWE, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, let's check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Trying to Love You by King David the Vessel. In my hand, I told you I love you. When given a chance, took the time to show you I love you. 
What else will it take to express my pursuit? I forget your mistakes. If you're accepting the truth, honest and candid. I want you in my promise and planet. Out that space, comets and planets. I made those, not a problem I can't fix. No drama or antics. Why? Because I'm a romantic. Who said it's affections on you? The next step is left up to you. What you gonna do? Let's be happy Already proved my feelings ain't fake Took a real for your healing I hate to see you give your heart When others promise you healing but can't The really good news is You and I, we can make music You can trust me with your trust I promise I never will abuse it I'll be your defender I'll be your justice Your past I won't remember Why? Cause that's what my blood does Oh! Oh, how I love you Oh, how he loves us there's nothing I won't do. I want you simply because of. Like it was like R and B, and then it just turned into some deep soul music, man. I'm telling you, I love that song, KD. I'm I'm dead serious. I know I, I fell in love with Glory 2.0, and all of y'all listening, y'all probably already know Glory 2.0. But man, I just got a new favorite song. Man, praise God, bro. <laughs> now, who was that that was singing with you? Uh, that's my homegirl, man. My sister Shanae Lenore. Um, she's a she's a big time blessing, man. And, um, somebody that I um, collaborate with uh, quite frequently on uh, on music, man. So the Lord has really blessed us, and we and we 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 make some really nice music, man. Um, you really do for Him together. So I, I I appreciate her, man. She's a big time blessing. I can tell, man. The way y'all were in harmony or harmony together, man. I'm I'm telling you, man. It it's not like this in gospel music. It's not. Normally it's a bunch of people off key, off tune, just trying to sing like the choir. <laughs> but man, you you guys come together very well. You guys should definitely consider doing an album together, man. Yeah, yeah that that would definitely be interesting, man. I I can see that. Definitely, man. Definitely. So what holds, um, or rather not holds, but what motivates you whenever? And I ask everybody this. Whenever the devil's attacking you, man, you know, you just don't even feel like to get up to do anything. You don't have any motivation, encouragement. You're trying to reach out for God, but you don't feel him, and the devil's just hitting you hard, man. What do you do to overcome that? Uh, like, what keeps you, you motivated know, and I, keeps pushing through? Um, one is that uh, I remember that it's not about me. Um, and that if these things are going on and they're going on with purpose, um you know, one of the things that I do use to encourage myself, and I do um, try to make sure that I encourage myself, because um, sometimes there's no one else around that can encourage you or who will understand what you're going through. Um, and so, you know, it's important that we are able to encourage ourselves in the Lord. Um, but one of the things that I, I, I used to do that is always that, um, you know, if God is dealing with me about something that's going to happen, 
tomorrow or next week or next month or there's things that I that God has told me that I haven't seen come into fruition as of yet. Um, and I realize that what I'm going through and dealing with right now isn't the end of y'all. That there's yet a tomorrow, that there's yet promises that are waiting for me and on me. Um, and so I go through, you know, and, and, and I understand that. And I realize that when we go through the right way, we don't go through for nothing. You know, that there is a blessing attached um, to the trials and to the tribulations that we face. Um, and they, you know, they do come in order for us to grow and to learn from them and to be better. And, um, you know, my heart's desire um, and, and, and my thirst and my pain on a daily basis um, is to be everything that I can for the Lord uh, on that day to be where he wants me to be, to be how he wants me to be. And, um, again, you know, doing the right thing isn't always the easy thing to do, um, but it is the most rewarding thing to do. So, um, you know, I just trust God, man, and I know that he's greater, and um, I'm, I'm reminded of the things that he's done and um, that he's brought me through already. Um, and, uh, you know, just being steadfast and, and you know, um, using scripture and not trying to use anything else um, to to encourage and, you know, just, just working. You know, we can't focus on our issue. You know, mm-hmm. there's other people who need what we have in us um, that need to be ministered to, even while we're going through what we're dealing with. Um, and so, again, it's, uh, it's it's not about me. And that um, that kind of helps, uh, you know, helps make things easier to uh, to deal with and get through. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people say it's cliche, but, I mean, it's absolutely true, man. God is the motivation. I mean, absolutely, without question, without question, like, seriously, because, I mean, he's God, you know, whether I'm going through the situation or not, he's God, whether I have everything or nothing, he's God, and, you know, um, I tell people that one of the most difficult lessons to learn, but the most important lesson to learn while in this life is how to trust God with everything, Um, and a lot of times we don't want to get there, we're not there because we don't want to get there. Um, it's difficult to, uh, for us to let go of certain things, to, to trust God to supply, to trust God to provide. Um, but, you know, when you think about it, why do we have these promises? Why do we have these scriptures that tell us that God will do or that God has done? Why do we have these things? It's so that we can put our trust and our hope and our faith and our confidence in him. Um, and so, yeah, when it comes down to it at the end of the day, you know, I love the people that God has put in my life. I love my family. I love, you know, uh, the relationships that I have. I love the gifts and the talents that God has given. But at the end of the day, He is the center. He has to be the center. Otherwise, none of these other things mean anything. I have to ask: Do you uh do you do any pastor work or a youth minister or anything like that at your church? Um, I I speak on occasion, um, and not not in the vernacular of necessarily. Uh, preaching from the pulpit, but um, we do, uh, you know, we do minister on occasion. And again, like you stated earlier, you know, being concerned about the ministry primarily, um, you know, that's kind of what the focus is. So, um, you know, there are some things that we do and there's some things in the works. So. Okay, I was just asking because, I mean, the way you just explained everything, it's like you broke it down in a way that people don't feel as condescending, but they really get something out of it. And I know a lot of a lot of preachers, man, especially televangelists, it's kind of like more like a show than it is actually putting out ministry. And so it's something special when somebody, or whenever you're doing something like that, ministering or music, and somebody just captures your attention, and boom, you just get like a burst of the Holy Ghost in you. It is. So I figured I would ask because you, you really seem like a really good teacher. Oh, praise God for that, man. I do not take any credit at all. And you know what? On that note, actually, have you ever had a fan or somebody listen to music and then they testify to you how your music has actually changed them or helped them through something? Um, I've had that happen on occasion, and um, this uh, is very humbling uh, because while we we write so that people can be ministered to, uh, you may not ever see the end of that ministry. You know what I'm saying? You may not ever see somebody get healed or somebody be encouraged or somebody get delivered as a result of God is using what he's giving you to do in order to help bring that to pass. Um, so being able to have individuals come back, you know, and, and not just from music, but across 
across the board, like if there's anybody in your life that's been a blessing to you or that has blessed you or their life, their walk, you know, their comments, their encouragement has been a blessing to you, you ought to let them know because, you know, these are the individuals who are, you know, walking a walk so that other individuals can be blessed and impacted by that. And so rest assured, they can attack, rest assured, you know, they, 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 they come under and deal with certain things. So that encouragement is necessary. So, you know, like I said, I've had it happen on occasion, and it's a blessing when anybody can come back and tell me that anything that I've done has been a blessing to them. Um, that is certainly a strength man, to, uh, and fuel to, to keep going. Definitely, man. Boy, I'm never one to kiss up to somebody, but I'm telling you right now, trying to love you, that that really blessed me right there. Oh, As I phrased God, it man. weirdly before, man, it just gave me a burst of the Holy Ghost. So I'm I'm definitely excited with that now. I'm going to have to promote Praise that God. personally. <laughs> <laughs> but all Thank right, man, we're you. pretty much at the end of the show. Do you have any information you want to give out, how people can contact you, if they want a collaboration or if they want to book you for a concert or even the shout-outs to your friends, family? All the Christians Absolutely. out there hanging with us. Yes, sir. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> in the body. Um, just uh, thank you guys. Uh, to my family, uh, my church family. Um, you know, if you want to reach out and hook up and connect, you can follow me on Twitter at Yielded Man, Y I E L D E D M A N, Yielded Man. Uh, you can re- check uh, check me out on Instagram at KDTV40. Um, I'm, I'm off and on again. Uh, with Facebook, so um, you can catch me on there. Uh, we have a couple of pages, uh, Rhymes and Worship, uh, which is my, would, would have been my personal page, and then, uh, you know, uh, King David the Vessel, the Yielded Music page, uh, which you can catch up with artist stuff. And then uh, just shoot me an email. Uh, I would love to connect with you and uh, chat, yieldedmusic at gmail.com, yieldedmusic at gmail.com. Yieldedmusic at gmail.com. Now, I know for a fact you guys want to hit this man up, man, because what we just played here is just a little taste of what he's got. I'm telling you right now, man, you guys are going to be in for a treat when you check out all of his work. It's diverse, it's straight out gospel, it's worship, it's praise, but it's hardcore testifying, man. I'm telling you. King David, I really appreciate you coming on the show, man. This was one of the shows that the devil kept trying to get in the way and didn't want it to happen, but we just pushed back and we made it happen, man. The Lord is good. No, I appreciate you having me on, man. Thank you so much. No problem at all, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Trying to Love You, and we are out. To express my pursuit, I forget your mistakes. If you're accepting the truth, honest and candid. I want you in my promise and planet. Out that space, comets and planets. I made those, not a problem I can't fix. No drama or antics. Why? Because I'm a romantic. Who said its effects is on you? The next step is left up to you. What you gonna do? Just because he does good to you Doesn't mean it is good for you He could take me away from you I was trying to love you So afraid that I would change you Try your best to stay the Already proved my feelings ain't fake Took a reeling for your healing I hate to see you give your heart When others promise you healing but can't The really good news is You and I, we can make music You can trust me with your trust I promise I never will abuse it I'll be your defender I'll be your justice Your pastor won't remember Why? Cause that's what my blood does Oh! Oh, how I love you Oh, how he loves us there's nothing I won't do. I want you simply because of. Look into your heart. And you will see there is a place where only I can be. I'm just waiting for you to let me die.
away from 